And then moving on to the leaves on the tree, I'm going to use the brush called the Golden Leaf Brush, pick up a light colour first, sunlit green, and then lightly stipple the leaves on top of the branches like that. So light colour, then a darker mix, midnight green, country olive, and bring that down in front of the uh, the trees in the background and just have it sneaking over the top of that barn and again let that dry moving on to the cart in the foreground with some cobalt blue, just put that on the front of the, the cart. Just add just a splash of colour. And then with a dark mix of ultramarine and burnt umber again. So it's dark underneath the cart. On the side. You paint over the cart wheels which are masked off. So really quite dark at the back there. Get rid of that white. Let that dry off before we remove the masking fluid. When the masking fluid is removed, you just add the detail to the masked area. We start with the cartwheel. This is some burnt sienna for a nice rusty colour. So you put a wash over the wheels, the spokes. So this is a, a light colour to start with. Then we put the darker colour on top when, once this is dried. With the half rigger and a dark mix of ultramarine and burnt umber, start to paint in the, the detail and the shading on the cartwheel. So the spokes quite dark at the hub. And dark on the underside of the wheel. For the grasses with a light colour, this is sunlit green. And wash that light colour over the stems of the grasses. Being careful not to paint over the flower heads. Change the colour slightly, some raw sienna. And the flower heads will have um, some yellow flowers. So cadmium yellow, that's bright colour and touch that into the flower heads. So these yellow flowers will stand out because of the, the dark shade from the tree running at the back of it. And finally, the last thing I need to do is put some shade underneath the eave of the barn. So with colour shadow and cobalt blue, wash over the woodwork that comes along, darken that to there. Now the contrast between the side of the barn and the front of the barn, there's hardly any colour contrast. So with that shadow colour, I'm just going to darken that edge, and then fade that towards the middle of the barn. Making this darker than the side. There we are, finished. 
That's our typical American rustic barn. Thank you. Now available to buy. Try these techniques at home whenever you wish. The DVD of today's workshop and the book that accompanies this series are now available to order from the Painting and Drawing Channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.